With this whole COVID-19 thing happening, a lot of people are drinking more. And so you might wonder, is my drinking becoming a problem? Do I have an alcohol use disorder? In this video, I'm going to take you kind of behind the scenes and show you what a mental health professional uses to try and determine if someone has an alcohol use disorder. Before we get into the 11 criteria that counselors use to try and determine if someone has an alcohol use disorder, let's start with a couple of fun facts. First is that counselors no longer use the term addiction. Well, they use the term addiction, but they, but they don't diagnose someone with an addiction. We also don't use the words misuse that he's got a substance abuse or misuse disorder. And then finally, we don't use dependence anymore either because someone could be dependent uh, or have a high tolerance for a medication that a doctor is prescribing them, but they don't meet any of the other criteria for a substance use disorder. Let's go through these 11 criteria to show you what a mental health professional will probably want to know. One, you drink longer than you intended or you drink more than you intended. Two, cutting back or trying to control your drinking just isn't working. Three, you're spending a great deal of time either uh, doing things to get alcohol, a great deal of time involved in drinking, or a great deal of time recovering from getting drunk. Four, you have cravings or what we may call a strong desire to drink. Five, drinking is keeping you from obligations that you have at work, school, or home. Six, you've got interpersonal problems that are either caused by the drinking or you know maybe they're made worse by the drinking. Seven, you give up or you reduce activities in your social life, work life, or recreational life because of your drinking. Eight, you drink in situations even when it might be physically dangerous. Nine, you keep drinking even though you have a physical or psychological problem that's caused by, or maybe it's made worse by, the alcohol use. 10, your tolerance goes up. That might mean that you have to drink more to get the same effect, or that you drink the same amount and it doesn't produce the same effect anymore. 11, you have withdrawal symptoms, or you take some other substance to avoid those withdrawal symptoms. Now, how can you figure out how severe your potential level of a substance abuse disorder is? Well, if you have two or three symptoms, that would represent a mild substance abuse disorder. If you have four to five, that would represent a moderate substance abuse disorder and six or more is considered severe. While I am not your therapist, and this is not any way to officially diagnose anyone with a substance abuse disorder, I hope that I gave you an idea of the kinds of questions that someone would ask to help determine that. If you're concerned about your drinking or something that you've looked at here today is just kind of giving you pause, I would suggest that you talk to your physician or talk to a mental health professional. They can give you an accurate diagnosis and begin to talk about ways to cut down or, or quit your drinking. One thing to know is that no one can take your alcohol from you. You have choices, you have options. Going and talking to a professional will simply give you information as you decide what you want to do. In this world I live